Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. It's a beautiful rear bath couples coach. This particular model is in the gorgeous cherry red exterior. Let's go ahead and start on the front. You will see a propane tank cover right here to hide those unsightly propane tanks. This RV does come with two 20 pound tanks. Of course, it's easy to access, just undo the thumb screws and you can lift up the door. Right behind that, you'll see the rails there for your battery box. And then coming up the front is the black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So you come around to the side of the Winnebago, look at the shine and the luster, how uh, high gloss and reflective these sidewalls are. That's because Winnebago towables have one of the best sidewalls in the towable industry. This is a true poured gel coat exterior. It's the same thing you have on your high-end motorhomes, absolutely gorgeous. Closest thing I can compare it to is a boat hull, a uh, very similar process, and as you know, you can keep that shine and luster throughout the life of the boat. Same thing applies to the RV. Right up here, if you take a look at your pass-through storage, nice big open storage space, and you'll see on the far side there, you have a battery disconnect as well, which is really nice. That way you don't constantly have to get inside the battery box. You just turn that and it kills all power to the coach. Right up top is your power awning. Touch your button to go ahead and roll that out. Same thing to uh, roll right back in. And that also has LED lights there as well. So we don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Just flip a switch and you have light at night. If you're one that likes to grill when you camp, right down here they do give you a propane quick connect, which is really nice. Just plug your grill right into that. And then you can use your 20 pound tanks up front instead of having to buy the little green ones. Getting into the coach is very simple. You have two steps to get in. You'll see how nice and low that second step is. You also have the easy grab handle right here. This of course is foldable, but this definitely helps you get a lot better grip to make sure you don't slip and fall on your way in or out of the RV. Underneath that power awning, you have two external speakers. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, they are Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can connect to those wirelessly and be able to control the music from right out here. Take a look down below real quick. You'll see the aluminum alloy rims. Not only do those look really nice, but they also help prevent rust and corrosion. You have nitrogen filled tires there as well. And if you're able to see the axles, this one uh, has the upgraded axles on there. Rather than your standard leaf springs, the Winnebago Micro Mini utilizes the torsion axle system. If you're one that likes to watch TV outside, not a problem, they have you covered there too. They went ahead and installed a backer in the sidewall when they uh, built it. That way you can mount your TV right outside here and you will see the hookups for that are right here as well. Making our way back a little bit, uh, we will come to the back of the coach. A couple nice things on the back of the RV. Spare tire here, that way, you know, if you ever have a blowout, you have the extra tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it is always a nice peace of mind knowing it's right back here for you. Also, rear mounted ladder. This really is quite beneficial. Uh, it's always good to get up on your roof for any kind of maintenance. I recommend doing it a couple times a year. And plus, this way you don't have to bring a ladder with you. Just makes packing a little bit lighter and easier. As you come around to the off door side here, you will see your hookups are right over here, satellite and cable hookup, outside shower with hot and cold access, uh, black tank flush here as well, termination right down below there. I like having the outside shower here too because that way when you're done dumping your tanks, if you wanna wash your hands, you have the hot water access right there. Welcome to the inside of the Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. This particular model has the stone interior. Let's start off on the kitchen here. So as you can see, not a huge countertop. What they did give you, they have maximized the space. You'll see you have dual sink top covers here, as well as a cooktop cover, and you have a countertop extension here off to the side, making this all a usable prep space. When we take the sink top covers off, it will reveal your double bowl stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet there. Window here to let in natural light and give you a good view of the campsite while you're washing dishes or prepping food. And then at night you have an LED light here, which you have throughout the entire coach. Those of course are very nice because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. If you take a look up top, 
you'll see you have some pantry storage right over here to the side, and then right here is your microwave. Underneath that, fully functional hood with a light and fan. And then as I mentioned, you have your cooktop here. When we lift the cover up, this does fold back. That will reveal your three burner cooktop. Uh, it's an Atwood cooktop. The front one there is high output. Then right underneath here is your oven in case you wanna do some baking. Underneath that, you have this little storage area here. And then underneath the sink, nice large storage area. As you can see, you have plenty of room there for a trash can. If you need to plug anything in, you have the plug in right down here. And then two full extension ball bearing drawers. That way you have a place for your silverware and all of your serving utensils, spatulas, things like that. Rounding out the kitchen is the fridge freezer combo right over here. You see you have lots of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Now before we go in the bathroom, one of the things I always like to talk about on the Winnebago products are the doors themselves. As you can see, Winnebago actually frames their doors out in wood. And when you open and close these, it's a nice tight fit. You can tell it's square. They actually do a good job on the doors. I know it sounds silly, but when you're out there shopping for RVs, open and close some of the doors and you will see what I mean. But as we enter into the bathroom, you will see right up here, you have a nice coat hook there, a robe hook rather. So that way, uh, if you wanna hang a towel or anything up there, you can certainly do that. Now we come inside the bathroom. If you take a look right over here to the side, you can see the mirrored medicine cabinet there. Right here's your sink top and vanity, stainless steel bowl, electrical outlet here underneath, and then some additional storage right below that. As you will see, you also have a little heat vent right there, which is nice, so it stays nice and warm in here. Then over here to the side, if you take a look at this right here, you'll see up top, you have good storage, great place for towels, nice little linen closet. Then down below you have a hanging rod. So that way if you wanna put shirts and stuff back here, you can do that because you actually have enough room to be able to change clothes in here. Right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room there all the way around. And then over to the side here is the shower. Uh, so it is a nice big shower, as you can see. I'll go ahead and step in the shower just to give you a size reference. Uh, I'm six foot. They have the nice cutout right here with the skylight giving you that additional headspace. And again, you have a lot of elbow room. You can actually turn and move in here, which I really like. Of course, a hand wand makes showering a little bit easier. Nice little tray right here, a shelf for your soap. And then you have a shower door that can close, keeping, of course, the water in the shower. And right over here is the entertainment center. One of the things I like that Winnebago does is give you name brand electronics. You will see right here is your 28 inch Jensen TV and you also have the Jensen Multimedia Center. Uh, now a lot of people don't know this, but Jensen is actually a top name brand in the RV industry because these are built specifically for the RV industry to take the shakes and vibrations from going down the road as well as the temperature extremes from hot to cold. As I mentioned, we were outside. This multimedia center is Bluetooth capable. It also acts as your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you do wanna watch a movie, you can just pop it right in there. If you take a look up top here, you'll see you have some additional storage there. And then you have some right down here as well. Now this unit is equipped with a slide, which is nice, especially for the weight. And in that slide is your couch. So a nice, comfortable sofa. You can see how you can just kind of sink right in there to the back, which is great. This is a jackknife sofa as well, so this will fold down into a bed. However, it's not very long, so uh, as an adult, you'll probably find a tough time sleeping on it. But if you're uh, a child or someone's a little bit younger, it definitely can make up that secondary bed. The other thing you will notice is tucked right back here, you have this indoor-outdoor table. That's really great too, because as you notice, this floor plan doesn't have a dinette. So what you do is you take that table, put it right out in front here, and that way you have a place to eat. Or if you want, if you'd like to eat outside, it's a nice day, it's not raining, you can take that table right outside in addition to any picnic tables you may already have out there. Nice big window here as well to let in that natural light, and you will see you have the storage right up top. As we take a look at the front of the RV, you will see you have a privacy curtain here. So again, if you do have guests, you can go ahead and close that off, giving you that much wanted privacy. Now, right up front, you'll see you have another sofa here. The reason for that is this floor plan has a Murphy bed. I think it's really nice to have the Murphy bed, especially in a smaller floor plan like this. That way, if you do have several guests over, you have plenty of seating for them. 
Now, if you take a look underneath, you'll see you have excellent storage right there, and it's very easy to access. This uh, flap right here just drops right down. You have the handle on there as well, making it nice and simple. It is quite easy to turn the sofa into a bed as well. You'll see you have the loop right up here. You just give that a nice little tug. This drops right down. And then you will see that your bed is located right here. So what you do is you take the mattress, fold it out, and there you go. Now you have a perfectly uh, comfortable bed. You'll see the mattress is nice and comfortable, as I mentioned. Uh, but if you want to leave it like this, you're more than welcome to do so. But again, I really like having the Murphy bed. I think it is a great space-saving option. Now right over on the side, you'll see there you have some additional uh, hanging space. So if you don't want to use all the space in the bathroom or maybe, you know, that's where her clothes are. So you get this up here, whatever it may be. Uh, it is great having the space right there by your bed. Additional storage right up top here. Then you'll see over to the side, rather than a wardrobe, you have the nice nightstand there with an electrical outlet so you can charge cell phones and then an additional drawer underneath that. Right up top is a vent, so if you don't want to run the ducted AC, you can open up some windows, open the vent up, have a nice cross breeze. King Jack right over here, this is your TV antenna. It does allow you to get in HD channels, and you don't have to remember to lower it because it's nice and low profile. All you have to do is turn it to find the best signal. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. This one has the cherry red exterior with the stone interior. If you are interested in this RV and you would like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.